think about this, and I'd love to get you guys' comments on this here in a moment. Uh, how about if I have a car that I buy in a Metaverse game, okay? Really cool car, right? I'm going to get an awesome paint job. I'm going to get uh, the best uh, wheels on this car. It's going to be the fastest car that you can possibly imagine, right? Um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be everything you ever want. You know, wind moon, wind Lambo, it's this one inside the Metaverse, and all of you will be jealous of my amazing car. And I race it, and I, I beat every one of you, okay? Because I own this amazing car, and I've bought it. It's an NFT. It's my car within the metaverse, okay? But eventually, let's say something changes in my life. Uh, I have kids. I get married. I get a girlfriend. You know, all kinds of things that, you know, change your life circumstances. I get a new job. You know, whatever makes it where you don't have enough time. And I think, well, I've got this super fast car in the metaverse. I've spent all this time upgrading it. I've played a lot so I can earn enough to be able to get new tires and get the uh, the fuzzy dice hanging from the rear view mirror. I have all of those things on there. And then in the end, because of that, uh, I, I can't use it. And I feel like I've got a valuable asset here. And it just sucks that I'm just going to have to turn off the game and never use it ever again. Is that That's the way it's been. But in the metaverse, no, no, no. If I want to sell it to one of you, okay, let me pick somebody. Chris, I see Chris there. If I want to sell that car to Chris, I can do that. It's an asset. I own it. I can sell it to him. And then he can dominate all of you, okay? He can, he can race and, and, and just completely destroy all of you with this awesome car. How about I say, uh, the job I have is just temporary and I'm going to get back into the game. You could actually rent out your NFTs to somebody. I mean, it's not just ownership is, is you know, complete and done. Just like if you own a house, you can choose to not live in that house and have somebody rent it. Or you can choose to have somebody rent your real in, you know, in real life car, and then they can use it for just a month, two months, a few years. And then whenever they're through renting it, it's yours again, and you've actually made a profit. Maybe you got more money just from renting. You know, let's think about real estate. Some you know, landlords decide that they want to buy a lot of property and then rent it out rather than flip it. You know, you've got your house flippers that get a house, make it real nice, and then sell it for a profit. But then you have other people that say, well, I'm going to buy the house, make it real nice. Um, to afford the payment, I'm going to rent it out, and then I'll get the income from the rent, and that'll help me buy and own it. All of this can still happen in the metaverse through NFTs. We've had virtual worlds before, okay? Oculus has had a virtual world, right? There's different, you know, communities you can join uh, with virtual reality, with VR, through Oculus, through, you know, whatever platform you're doing. But the blockchain changes things to where uh, it makes it to where maybe I can actually own something, rent something, maybe view sporting events in a different way, maybe view esports in a different way. Think about esports, you know, they're, they're, it's getting to be a bigger and bigger industry, people watching, you know, basically professional gamers play games. What if me and you held NFT tickets to get into a championship match of Call of Duty or, you know, whatever, you know, Fortnite, whatever, whatever, you know, we're going to go see. And we meet up in the metaverse. We use our NFT tickets to go into an actual arena within the metaverse. And then we watch the game played out in front of us. I'm talking to you to my left and right, just like I'm in seats. They actually already have something like that in oculus um so real quick i want to give just an opportunity for anybody to join in here and uh join in on the conversation this is the trader verse power hour uh we're kind of growing our community as we go uh we, you know there's been times when i have christine in here and we have just all kinds of people because she's got such a great following but whenever she's not in here you know we'll go from a handful of people and now we're getting a few more so we're growing every day trader verse is a social network for traders. It's made by traders. It's going to be for traders. It'll have some automation in it or some AI parts to it. It'll have charting in it. And of course, a social aspect to it to where you can hear things like this, because that's another thing that Traderverse is offering is every day I'll be in here giving you, you know, whatever content the news of the day possibly can be Monday through Friday at this time. We'll also do some AMAs where we can have some good people that really just know the industry. I mean, I'm just a, I'm just an idiot behind a microphone, but we'll bring on some people on here that are truly experienced in either token creation or token, you know, coin projects. And we'll talk to them as well. So 
yeah, if any of you would like to speak on the metaverse, what you think some possibilities are, or just kind of uh, you know empty your brain a little bit, uh, raise your hand, and I would love to be able to hear from you, and uh, we'll we'll continue our conversation. But in in the in the metaverse with NFTs, don't you think that a virtual world where you can get in and actually have a social component through people to, with people? Will, will make this bigger of a deal than it's ever been before. Let me give you an example of my experience with a non-blockchain-based virtual world. Oculus, if you're familiar with them, they're the Facebook-owned group that has virtual reality. They actually uh, you know, had a keynote speech where they were going to say what their latest products were. You know how these things go. Somebody's on stage, you know, used to everybody imagined Steve Jobs on stage announcing the iPhone. And it was the Oculus, you know, CEO, whoever was there. And I was in the crowd. And uh, you were able to actually, with your headset, sit in the crowd. You could have people on your left and your right. And you could talk to them while the person was speaking about what they were speaking. And that was really cool where I could do that. Even cooler was I looked to my left and it's the CTO of Oculus, John Carmack, sitting in there right next to me. And I was able to speak with him. I was like, well, why aren't you up there? <laughs> You're the CTO of Oculus. And he's like, oh, man, I'm just kind of here. Uh, I, they were going to invite me up here. But I anyway, I ended up being next to, uh, you know, kind of a gaming legend. He's the, he's the founder of id Studios. And, uh, yeah, I was able to sit right next to him, you know. And I'm telling you the story as if I was just sitting right next to him in, a, in real life. It was kind of cool. You know, you get next to a celebrity virtually. And it was still cool. So, that kind of gives me of what this can be as far as a virtual world. But whenever we're talking metaverse, a lot of times we're talking a virtual world, but with the blockchain. And the blockchain, the, the NFTs inside the metaverse are what is going to really change things. I didn't own anything in that experience that I was telling you about with Oculus. I didn't own any of that. Instead, in the metaverse, I might be able to own tickets to get to an event. I might be able to own the car that it takes to drive me there. Uh, in you know within the metaverse, I might be you know can we date? Can we do Tinder inside the metaverse? Can you swipe right <laughs> in the metaverse? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why why, why not? Uh, you can uh, you know maybe you say hey meet me over by the beach and uh, let's uh, let's let's talk and get to know each other. And you could absolutely do that. Could there be careers in the metaverse? Okay, I talked about this from my personal account. Last night, which by the way, if any of you, uh, you know, so I'm my name's Steven. I go by the voice of DeFi. I speak on this Traderverse account, but I also have my own personal account. You're always free to check that out as well. But what about careers inside the metaverse? I talked to a gentleman, uh, the CEO of Star Atlas, the other day on uh, a podcast of mine, and uh, he said that inside the metaverse of Star Atlas, it's uh, you know, it's like Star Wars. You're always uh, you're always fighting against one another. And through that, uh, you know, everybody thinks that, okay, if you actually can get into the metaverse in there, you're going to have to be fighting somebody else, okay? You're going to be shooting somebody with your, your lasers, you're going to have your, uh, your, your spaceships, and you'll be in a battle. Well, uh, he said that's not the case necessarily at all. He said if you wanted to, you could actually own a gas station to be refueling people's ships before they go out to battle. You know, you could mine for the fuel, okay, and then you could give that out. And he says, literally, you could be like having the corner gas station in your own town where you're just talking to people that are passing through and saying, oh, how you doing? What you about to go do? Oh, we're about to, we're about to go out and, uh, you know, defeat whatever guild, and we're, we're fueling up, getting ready. You talk to them, and it's just like a real business. You could literally own that business and make the connections and market your business of, hey, make sure you stop by, you know, the, the Traderverse gas station, the voice of DeFi's gas station, and, uh, you know, that, <clears throat> excuse me, that could be a career. Is there a way that you could have a career of, uh, you know, the medical industry? Maybe you could have uh, somebody come in and, uh, uh, you know, you say, hey, I've got this rash right here on my left butt cheek, okay? Could somebody take a look at that? And through the metaverse, you might actually have to be able to get a real doctor, to look at that that rash that you've got that's just scorching on your on your left butt cheek. So so many different ways. Not even okay. So there's another way of of monetization within it. How about education? Where'd that doctor get uh, you know get learnt from? Where did he get his education from? 
the metaverse might create a way to get educated in ways that we have not even imagined. Be sure to listen in to all of our weekly shows and follow us on Twitter for updates.